This video is going to be a simple example. Well, simple. <laughs> this video is going to contain a confidence interval example. I hope you will find it simple. I'm going to try to uh, walk over a lot of the complexity and a lot of the literal definition and a lot of the build up to the idea. We're just going to jump in and do an 80% confidence interval for tarsus, that is length of Galapagos Island finches. We'll do an example in R, as you suspect. Here we are in R, where we are going to read in the data set finches. Okay, quickly jumping out of R, but back into it. We'll just go copy and paste this line of code from my GitHub repository named Raldi's. No, from my GitHub page, Raldi's, under the repository named data. Oh, that didn't work out. Let's try again. There it is. So here is the data set finches. We are going to focus on the variable named tarsus length. If you are like me and don't really know a whole bunch about the bones in feet of finches, you're just going to understand that a tarsus is a bone in the foot of a finch. So we're interested in the length of that foot bone of Galapagos Island finches. You can extract the variable tarsus length by first naming the data frame that contains the variable, then using the dollar sign, which is like an extraction operator, and then type out or click the variable that you want. That will get you the entire variable. We're not interest or the entire vector. We're not interested in the entire vector. We just want the mean of it and we will store that into a variable named mu hat. We can look at mu hat if we want. It looks like the average tarsus length for Galapagos Island finches is about 22 point, uh, I guess we'll round that up to 0.1 millimeters. Some other things we're gonna need are the sample size. Previously, I showed you how to calculate the sample size in R if there was any missing data. It started out with like is.na, and you'd call that on the variable you're interested in. And I think uh, we did a number of different things from there. Today, I'm going to show you the function any, and you can call it on the vector returned by is.na. Any will return true if any of the values in the vector you call it on are true. If any one of them is true, any will return true. Because any returned false, we have no missing data here. So if you do this quick check to see if you have any missing data, and you do not, as we don't, then you can cheat in your calculation of your sample size and just use the function length. If you have missing data, then you'll need to do as we did before, where you calculate the sum, of the exclamation point of is.na. In this case, n is 68, because we have no missing data. We also need an estimate of the standard deviation of tarsus length. And from those two quantities, we can calculate the standard error. The last thing we'll need for a confidence interval is the value t star which we can get by using the function q for quantile t for t distribution. And I said at the beginning of this, we're going to do 80% confidence interval. So we'll need to put in the values 0 0.1 and 0 0.9. If you need help on figuring out why I used those numbers for 80% confidence, then you should go check out the video specific to choosing the p percent confidence that you want. We now have all the component pieces we need for a confidence interval. So we simply go mu hat plus t star times the standard error. And this, whether I write it in math on pen and paper or my whiteboard or whatever, or in R code, as long as you name your variables right, this is the standard formula we need. Turns out that was relatively easy to do. So we'll now interpret this confidence interval. Uh, and I'm just going to type it out so you can see it as I say it. 
And the way to type out uh, words on the computer such that you don't get errors like um, we are, you see it yells at you if you type out the variables we and are, because those aren't really variables in R. So we are going to use hashtag to denote a comment in R. And behind comments, you can put whatever you want. So we will interpret our confidence interval behind this hashtag, which is known as a comment in the world of programming. We are 80% confident that the true population mean Tarsus length of, don't forget the context, Galapagos Island finches is between 21.89 and 22.21 millimeters. That wasn't so bad, was it? Let me know uh, in office hours or up on Piazza if this was terrible. What I tried to do here was beginning to end inclusive of, inclusive of an interpretation with units of a confidence interval in a relatively short video, skipping a lot of the excess that came along with explaining a confidence interval. Hopefully this was a short and easy to follow example of a confidence interval. I would encourage you to include a short and easy example of a confidence interval for some percentage of your choice in your course notes. Please do that.